I've always said I was destined for greatness. I was a master nose picker at six. Thankfully, I grew out of that. I became the shortest non-female member of my family at the grand height of 5'5". Five five. And while I know they're there, I'm still waiting for my mutant powers to manifest. When I meet people and tell them what my goals in life are, I often get head shakes and looks of confusion. It's kind of their way of saying that's not going to happen. I guess I have big dreams. I want to be on TV, in movies, making music, doing voiceovers, the whole nine yards. I jump around a lot, but I'm consistent. I don't ever truly leave any of these ideal careers behind. It's kind of the opposite. Um, I feel like I add to the list each time I learn about something new. Being in new house totally doesn't help that problem. I run into something new every day. Honestly, who needs sleep anyway? I've got plenty of time for that when I'm dead. In my head, at least, I've got too much soul inside of me, and I can't let it go to waste. I kind of, I need to share it with the world. Whether it's through my brightly colored and, as I like to say, fully expressive clothing choices, it's okay or, to be according okay. to everyone else that I know, my Sometimes apparent ability to break into song relevant to the moment, like I popped out of glee or something, just a bit less campy. Well, I tell myself that it's less campy. I guess, when I really think about it, I like to make people happy. I don't want to learn and excel in all these different areas and different jobs solely for myself. I want to be able to produce something that other people can enjoy. It's... It's a lot of work, and sometimes it's hard to keep it together, but I love it, so it's okay. Because I'm amazing, just the way I am. <laughs>